play sad. That is, if you please. I confound these civilities. I usually forget them. That'd be enough. Go off to bed. Uh, Miss Fairfax, kindly cover young Mademoiselle here with a respectable nightgown. Oh, but I do not like the respectable nightgown. Besides, Chemin Monsieur Mademoiselle took me to bed. Do as you told, Lucky. Well, come. May I not embrace you? You are leaving tomorrow. No, you may not. Be off. <laughs> Much for Adele, do you, sir? She's her mother's daughter. That French mother who charmed my English gold out of my British breeches. Yes, she is my illegitimate daughter. I assure you, she'll never know it. I keep her and rear her on the Christian principle of expiating numerous sins by one good word. Um, sir, come closer. I can't see you without serving the position I'm in, which I have no mind to do. Examine me, Miss Eyre. You find me attractive? No, not at all. By my word, there is something singular about you. Sorry, it's too plain. I should have replied that beauty is of little consequence or something of the sort. You should have said nothing of the kind. Beauty of little consequence indeed. Go on, what faults do you find with me? I suppose I have my limbs and features like any other man. Yes. I, I guess. Do you think I'm a humanitarian? <laughs> or no, young lady, I'm not. <coughs> so I've had one kind of tenderness or two. But fortune has knocked me about since, and now I'm as hard and tough as a rubber ball. Does that mean hope for me? What's the what, sir? With my heart's return. Young lady, you look puzzled. And though you are no more pretty than I am handsome, a puzzled look becomes of you. Young lady, I'm disposed to be gregarious tonight. I shall have little evenings as comfortable as this one. I just wish you had the decency to divert my thoughts a little bit. What do you want me to tell you? Anything you like? Very well, question me. I will do my best answer. Most off, do you agree that I have the right to be a bit masterful, for I am older than you? I don't agree that you have the right only because you are older. Your claim to superiority depends on the use you have made of your time and experience. I cannot agree with you. For it won't suit my case, but I admire your stillness and frankness. No girl your age would have. Reply to me as you have done. I admire your clear conscience. Your unpolluted memory. A memory like that would be an exquisite treasure. How was your memory when you were 18? Oh, I was quite your equal at 18. Oh, yes, quite your equal. But misfortune has knocked me about since. I have the right to seek pleasure, and I will get it. Generate still more. It's possible. Yet, if I can get pleasure, and it will be sweet and fresh as a honey gathered by the bees on the nose. We'll have a bit of 